next bout of the evening scheduled for three four-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Your referee in charge of the action is Frank Gentile. Thank God. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, from Team Gracie Baja in Orlando, Florida, let's welcome Albert Laura. Utrera. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner from Torres Combat Jiu-Jitsu in Fort Myers, Florida. Here is Rainier Mendoza. That's right. And, and the tempo tonight has been that fast start where we've seen lots of quick punches. Let's see if these gentlemen slow it down or go right after it. Nice leg kick attempt by Mendoza. And there's a Utreras, like I said, going right to the ground. Right to the guard. Taking side control. Mendusla recomposes or composes his guard, I should say. Flip him, nigga. Utreras is uh, obviously a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu favorite fighter at this point right now who idolizes is PJ Penn. Flip him, flip him! You better hope BJ Penn helps him because he almost got hit with Kimura a lot. Back to their feet. Back to their feet. There they go, standing again. Swinging a bit wildly for my taste, but you know, what's a girl to do? You know, Wes? That is, a, that is a typical panic move when you get stuck a few times in the face. You revert back to what you know best. Go for the body lock. Try to get him on the ground. <laughs> body lock. Trying to get the takedown. Mendeluza doing a nice job. Sprawling out. Goes to the fence. It appeared that Minaluza had stunned Utreras a little bit with some of those heavy punches. And he very well did, uh, forcing Utreras to go for the takedown. If I were Mendoza, I would stay on my feet because I think he's got a, a better advantage or more of an advantage standing because I think their ground skills pretty much cancel each other out. There we go, back to the that's, striking game. And that's showing the inexperience that you pull the trigger. When you step, you throw. You don't pull back. A wild, wild uppercut <laughs> attempt. I would like to call that an overhand right, but I, I don't think it really was. Nice leg kick to the inside of the lead leg. Another wild haymaker. Hooking right hand. It wasn't there. I wouldn't call it straight. Let's say it was a hooking right hand. It seems to me that Utreus has an unorthodox style, the way he punches. Is that something that you think he trains or just something that... Uh, there it is. There's a big left hand. You know, you may have stung Mendeleza. Wes, even a blind squirrel can get a nut sometimes. <laughs> I think he's got to work on his straight punches a little bit more. Uh, put some combination. Nice kick to the head by Mendeleza. Wild punching by Utreras. I think Utreras is getting a little tired here. There he goes, as you said, reverts back to the back to the body whenever it seems like he's in a little bit of trouble. Goes straight to the body lock as soon as he gets in a little bit of trouble. Looking for the takedown. What he needs to do is drag, he needs to drop his level, drag Mendeleza's legs off of the cage and pull him to the ground. That's how you use the cage. I think Mendeleza is just content to stand right there and do nothing. <laughs> he does seem content. I see the referee flaps his hands, maybe you know, trying to get to initiate some action between the two fighters. Nice knees by Mendeleza. He's not going to have a whole lot on there because you need to create space to deliver a hard knee. Don't want to have your back against the fence when you're doing it. Not to mention it makes you a takedown target. Nice knees again. Broken again. Can we have a, this could be the first fight that goes to the second round. This very well may be, but you know something? <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. <laughs> you can already see the hand starting to drop a little bit. Mendeleza needs to step into his kicks. He's not stepping across his opponent. He's hitting with the top of the foot, not getting everything he wants on him. Nice right hand. Certainly, certainly can take a punch. Would you agree? Yeah, but you, Wes, in this game, you never want to be known as a guy who can take a hell of a punch or the guy with a lot of heart. You want to be the guy that delivers. You, you want to be the guy who's really boring and tedious, who wins. That's what you want to be. I wouldn't necessarily go with the push kick myself, but that's my that's just my point of view. Here we go. After one round, those guys in a serious exchange right at the buzzer. That's a good sign. Let's see what happened in round number two. It's a good and Mendeleza was very active with his legs, delivering a lot of kicks. A lot of kicks scored a lot of points. Kicks. Beautiful kick to the head he had. 
And then the loser starts with a lead hook. You gotta pull the trigger on that, Les. You see what I'm talking about? He doesn't step in, he's not got the, he doesn't have the distance. You set that, you throw that left hook and throw and set up that right leg kick. It's a devastating combination. Not a lot of guys use it. And there goes Utreros, back to the body lock. And you being a very successful collegiate wrestler, Wes, no, you're not going to get a body lock locking a guy around his rib cage. You got to get under his armpits, pick him up, and get your hips below his to pick him up and take him down. And, and you need to get more, it seems to me you need to get a little more of an angle from one side or the other. Uh, the referee separates the fighters and back to action. Kind of slow and controlled second round. Well, I, I think the guys are a little bit more, uh, how would one say, uh, relaxed, i.e. Tired. They got, yeah, they're a little tired right now. <laughs> Left hand barely missing by Utreras. Oh, beautiful. Very hard shots thrown by Utreras. That's an elbow to the back of the head. I think one would want to say something about that. <laughs> Mendelusa looking for the guillotine. I don't really think he's in there. And you're back against the cage. It's kind of hard to get. I think Utreras says, no, he slips it. He's not, no danger. No danger whatsoever. It's really hard to get that guillotine with your back against a cage. Can't engage your hips, put your back to work. It's very tough. Nice chopping right hand by Mendeluso, though. Yeah, it looks the like the right eye, or the left eye, excuse me, of Utreras is uh, is colored maybe a little bit swollen. I don't know when that happened. Maybe in the last exchange. Now, I can't tell you when it happened, but I can tell you that Utreras' mouth is open, which is never a good sign. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to lose his mouthpiece a little bit earlier, but uh, he's a warrior. He's hanging in there. Nice combination. I mean, these, these guys have absolutely no fear of exchanging. Oh, nice, nice left hand by Mendeluso. Still going with those kicks is Mendeluso. But Mendeluso really doesn't have a whole lot behind those kicks right now, so they're not doing a whole lot of damage. They're scoring points, but they're not damage. Do you think he's maybe using that as a... Oh, nice! Oh, Utreras taking Mendeluso's back. Mendeluso coming out the back door. Utreras is a bit high. If I'm Mendeluso right now, I want to come out the back. Uh, Mendeluso's yeah. got a little bit of trouble here. He's very close to a near, rear naked choke. He's got to get that. He's got to get that forearm under his chin. Right now, Mendeluso needs to roll to his back and take the pressure off, just like that. That's, that's it. it. Fight's over. Yes. Yes. Albert Utreras with the rear naked choke. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> You know, like you said, it looked, it looked as if he was a little bit high, that he might roll off and a reversal might occur. Real deal, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please.